Good day and welcome to my garage. I'm going to take the end of that shaft off now. Okay, let's uh, just get that ready so I can now uh, face it off and drill it for an M6. They work quickly, angle grinders. Just have to prepare the end of this uh, piece of shaft. This is going to be the new extension of the motor shaft. So the um, this is the threaded section that disappeared, so it's got to be an M8 thread. Uh, I've got to get it down to 7.87, and it's currently at 9.3. I should bring it down to 8.3. Okay, eight, eight point one. Cut a shave for all that. Of course, that's not going to work. No, it's not, it's not catching. Why oh, isn't it? It's a mate. Am I reading something wrong? Five, six, seven, eight. Seven point nine. Seven point nine instead of seven point eight seven. So um, this should work. Why would it? No, that's why. The lead it's marked M8 here, so I expected the the lead of the die nut to be on this side, but it isn't. The lead, the lead in the taper is on the mark on the mark side, so we'll try this again. Take 
this off. The end of end of the tail stock quill treble. It's coming this time. Well, I must say, not a bad little thread, considering the uh, <laughs> this handle's crap. But anyhow, the dye nut work when you uh, put it in the right way. So that goes to show you the lead in is on the uh, on the lettered side on this uh, diner just find the nut that will go on there okay just a little bit a little bit loose but uh, still a good thread All right. Now I've got to turn turn this around and machine the other side uh, down to a M6. Yeah, I've got to make an M6 on the other end. So this is the end. The the centre I still have to uh, machine down to 10 millimetres for the impeller and and put a keyway in it. But uh, next I'll turn it around in this collet so I can make the um, make the um, uh, the other the other M6 thread on the other side. This is an M8. Alright. Well um well we're back. We're back. I'm back. Uh, I'll tell the truth. This is a second attempt. Uh, what you've just seen, uh, that piece, and I've lost it now, must, might be in my pocket. That piece I screwed up on, and uh, I've had to do it again. Uh, <clears throat> so what's inside the chuck now is uh, the same as the, the first piece, which is the M8 thread. It might be, no, let's come out a bit. So that's the, that's the same. Um, I'm now working on this this second side. Now the the reason I'm doing a second one is I wanted to make it a, an M6, but I've changed my mind. I'll uh, up it to an M7, and um, I made the the end uh, the, the threaded section eight millimeters. But I didn't realise until after I did this thread uh, I should have left the blank longer than the 8 millimetres because you lose well take this take this side for instance uh, I did a 12 mil length 
I lose about a uh, one and a half millimetres on the on the lead and two and a half millimetres because the um, uh, the die won't go all the way up to the thread all the way up to the shoulder. So out of that 12 millimetres I've only got a, an effective thread area of seven. So I've made this one longer. It's about 14 millimetres. Yep, 14 millimetres long. I am uh, currently not at um, uh, 7 mil or 6.95, I think the chart says. I'm at 10 mil, so we'll work it down to um, 6.95. So I'm at 10. Sorry if this gives you glare, but I can't see the otherwise. Well, that should be uh, eight, 8 mil, which it is, eight, 6.95 I'm aiming for. So that's seven. We've got the point oh five to come off. Okay, I think it looks about uh, nine uh, nine five nine six. 6.95 so uh, we'll set her up to thread that in M7 Well, I must say, making that um, spanner for the collet, gee, it's helped. It's worked out really well, this spanner. <coughs> I'm just cleaning up the end of the main shaft, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the shaft of this motor, getting it ready to drill for an M. M7 thread. Right, just drilling the uh, main main shaft out to. Uh, Six mil drill and then seven three. Okay, that was 15 mil deep. Um, uh, well, I should be able to get th uh, 13 mil, 12 mil. Take four off. That's 11 mil of engagement. 
Might just go a little bit deeper. Alright, that's 18mm deep, that's plenty deep enough. Take, we'll say, three off. Three off that because we're not going to get threaded on the last three, four millimetres. We'll take five off 18, that's 13mm engagement, that's, that's plenty. It's a 7mm bolt. Alright, I'll set her up to, uh, to tap out. Oh, so soon. Come on. Problem is I can't get this chuck tight enough. Yeah, I know, you can't see. That's unfortunate. Well, I've got a couple of threads in there. One, two, three, four. No, it's not even engaging, stupid. That's about, about one and a half, two threads. That I'll have to do, take it to the bench. Didn't end up going to the bench. Do it here in the lathe. Must be getting to the end, I think. And reverse. Uh, how deep did I go? I went to about there, about 16 mil. I'll say 16 mil, and like I said, I'll lose the first three mil. So I've got 13 mil of engagement. That blue. I cut the thread shorter, so um, we've got a total of, what do we have now? About 12, 12 and a half millimeters. Uh, I turned the button die around in the, um, in the die holder so I can get closer to the shoulder with the thread, so I'm nearly there, but not quite enough. So now I've got to um, countersink counter the end of the shaft to allow that shoulder to um, butt up against that one. I hope, hopefully, let's, let's give it a go. Let's see how that went. Okay, now now I'm hard up against the shoulder. Uh, yes, that is a little bit too big. Uh, now I've got to machine that down to 10mm for the impeller. Down to 10mm and then a, uh, a keyway. I'll do, do the keyway obviously in the milling machine. Um, we're up 
far enough on the milling machine to perform that task. All right, so beautiful. Don't know whether to lock tight that now or um, later. I should I should do it now. All right, catch you later. I had a couple of reasons to uh, to leave this piece that the impeller uh, goes on. I had a couple of reasons to leave it uh, large, it was 15 millimetres. Uh, one gave me something for the collet chuck to, um, to hold nice and strong while I uh, uh, cut the, the second, mainly the second thread. Because I knew once I'd uh, cut this first thread, if I was using it, anything else, uh, once I cut this first thread, then when I turned it around, I only had a um, a small shoulder, 10 millimetres, so 8, 9 millimetres to hold in the collet chuck or hold it on the M8 thread um, and not guaranteeing that would be 100% uh, uh, straight. So, and then knowing that um, uh, to glue it, lock it into the main, into the spindle here, shaft, um, gave me something to put my pliers around and if I marked it doesn't matter because it's going to get machined off. So uh, I'm now going to bring this down to 10 millimetres. So we can get down to the shaft size straight away because that's uh, 12 mil. Let's hit it down the shaft size. Now, 10 mil. Let's see where we're at. And also by leaving this larger I can um, guarantee that the shaft there will be, the impeller will be con concentric to the shaft. The stringy bits are annoying. Alright, what's the shaft size? Where are you? at 11 millimetres so that should be 10 and a half Try that again. Okay, 10.5.
No, no, no. Bring it back to 15. Oh, I'm just talking to myself. somehow to cut that keyway. Right here we have the motor shaft mounted in the vise. Um, I had to spend some time mounting this vise because it hasn't been mounted before so the, uh, to make up two new uh, two, two brackets to hold it down and uh, so I'm ready now to mill out the four millimeter key, key excuse me, keyway slot. Now it's got to be just over about 2.25, 2.3 mil deep, and the keyway is just uh, over seven. We'll make an eight millimeter keyway. That's a four mil cutter. So I've got to um, bring it back. Um, move the shaft away 4 mil and in about a um, little bit over about 2.3 mil so let's get started Twenty-six point two eight, and now twenty-six. Got to bring it down to say twenty-four. Twenty-four point eight. We're on twenty-four 
24, 24.3. I'm going to bring it down to 24. Okay. It's on 24. Now I have to bring it along four millimeters. Yeah, I know, I was, I was being very, very gentle. It is only a 4mm, 4mm um, end mill. And I was uh, cutting it about 2.3mm deep. So, hopefully, It's in beautiful. I can take it out. All right, I'll just clean that up, and then we can go, and then I'll have to start assembling the motor if I can remember how to do that. Uh, the motor, by the way, it's been such a long time since um, I first started on this project. <coughs> uh, the water tank has well and truly, uh, well and truly drained out and I'll push the water tank out of the way. So this is just an exercise of uh, um, putting this, getting this pump uh, up and running again for the next time I want to use it in five or six years time. All right, we'll catch you later. I'll uh, bring, bring you back when, when I've got the water pump together. Well, it works. It even uh, cycles on and off as the uh, uh, as the pressure drops. This is a um, um, a flow sensitive uh, pump. You could use it on your house, I suppose. Um, but yes, it works. That's great. Job well done. Now um, <laughs> I don't need to empty that. Um, that tank anymore. The tank is uh, to the was sitting in that sandy patch just there, which is now gone. So, but I do have another tank. Well, there it is on your left. That tank that's moved. The other tank is over there. But that um, that should be in the right place. But while this thing's working, might uh, just hook it up to the sprinkler system and feed the front yard or water the front yard. All right, it works. That's the main thing. Well, <clears throat> I've machined that off, and uh, I am now at a uh, at the correct height for the um, for the screw 
It's about one and a half millimetres above the centre line. Or it's upside down, so it's actually below the centre line of the tunnel. And um, that's what gingery calls for, six, uh, one sixteenth of an inch or one, whatever that worked out to be. It was 1.5, close enough. So, I'll... Um, what have I got left? <laughs> Still, I've got a lot more to go. So anyhow, I'll do the bushing and, I, uh, and I'll mount this uh, all up. We'll catch you a little bit later.